This is Carla Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and this is my Stone Cold Lock, Lock of the, the Century. century. All the All the Al Davis was a legend, a giant of the NFL when he wasn't suing the NFL, and his passing leaves a vacuum larger than the black hole itself. For 48 years as owner and GM, Davis brought the people of the Bay Area closer together on false Sundays so that they might stab at each other more easily. He was an original, a maverick, a visionary, among the first to hire minority coaches and then later fire them in some cases repeatedly. He gave many pros their first break in this league. Todd Marinovich, Lane Kiffin, Jamarcus Russell, the list of Raiders that have no business being anywhere near a football runs deep. Davis was tough as nails, a real throwback, and meanwhile this Sunday, the Browns are going to be marching into Oakland with Peyton Hillis, a running back who already sat out one game this season because of strep throat and is probably going to miss this game due to lazy vaginal rejuvenation or something. You want to talk toughness? Al Davis wasn't just the owner at GM. He was also third on the Raiders' QB death chart as late as 2009. In Oakland on Sunday, there ain't gonna be a dry eye in whatever friggin' converted Greyhound track steeplechase slash swap meet they call a Coliseum. As I look for the Raiders to just win, baby, for the great city of Oakland so that they might one day again move the team back to L.A. next year or possibly Ottawa if they can get them dumbass Canadians to install luxury boxes. That's why Oakland is my stone-cold lock of the city. Oh, 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 oh